outside of van. Now the first thing I want to show you on the outside, which has to do with the inside, uh, which we found that many vans actually don't do, is that it has a full size splash screen door, which is excellent. Okay, I've grown up with Jayco's that have like the windows, and this is not a Jayco, um, but just this top bit like this and then the bottom bits just that plastic kind of like the window bit i'm so really pleased that we could get one that had this on it which means that you can just lock this bit and not have to worry about the other part of it all right so you just attach it back together and then i lock you up no come in cool so this is where most of the filming is taking place so far around this table uh, so it looks familiar and probably the first thing that you notice in here is the really lovely red colour. No, so that's going to change. <laughs> um, also, you'll notice here on the windows that there are these blinds. That is also going to change. We're turning them into lockout curtains. And this pleat up here, which you can see, will also be going. Now, when you walk into the van, you would notice there is a lot of light. There are no lights on right now. It's just this ginormous, ginormous, awesome sunlight from the sunroof, uh, which is pretty cool. I've never had a van, and I've had lots of vans growing up as a kid, but with a window this big, it's not even like half, not even that, the size. So the fact that it opens up and all this lovely air, it's also got this really cool blackout. So you can make it really dark really light and then if you want to open it up and you don't want to have birds true story one time in the jco we had birds come inside through this window you just pull this side across i'm not very good at it because i'm too small and it comes across and they like meet each other now while we're down this end of the van let's go behind the door we better knock to make sure that no one's in it hello i'm kidding there's no one in there or is there hey marshmallow Marshmallow is also coming with us. So, Marshmallow, give us a tour of the bathroom en suite area. So, we start over here on this side, which is where the toilet is. Yay! The toilet has a toilet cartridge in it. And with our other vans, I've always been the one that empties the toilet cartridge. But this time, I think we're going to have to have a conversation about this. Maybe like every second time or something like that. Anyway, you've got this cool sink, totally retro. It's like the most retro thing about this van, even though it's not even that retro because it's in the 2000s. Tons of storage space, as you can see. So we're going to be chucking some storage up there on the walls, which is cool. And then some storage down the bottom there because there's this empty pit. Then if you turn yourself around this way, woo, we have... The shower. Hey, Marshmallow, do you want to have a shower? Yeah, go have a shower. And what's really cool about this shower is that it has a shower head up the top. So it's not like in other vans that I've had where it's like halfway and it's really ridiculously hard to have a shower. This one's actually really cool. And the sunroofs. You'll notice that there's lots of sunlight coming from the sky, which I think is the best. And something that I really, really, really wanted in the van. Now, we better make sure Marshmallow is jumped out before we lock him in there. Now, we've seen the lounge area. This is our amazing kitchen. So much storage. Can I just say, so much much storage it is ridiculous there's so much room and underneath here a ginormous sink a huge sink you would if you haven't had vans you don't understand the excitement and also swivel tap swivel tap you've got four gas burners now i have had vans where it's just had the three gas and then the one electric and i found that but the electric one, it was always so small and you could only fit like small saucepans and pans and stuff in there. So I'm excited to have four gas ones. We've also been given a little electric fry pan. So if we really, really, really want to have something electric, we have a small electric fry pan that also is a wok. It's like perfect for two people and a bunny. We got our microwave. And of course we have the lights, so many lights in this place, it's great underneath. 
Uh, this cute little clock will be going. I don't like ticking. But that's cool. We've got all the water stuff and whatever that we're going to run through. The pump and everything like that. Moving down into the bedroom. We have this amazingly huge bed, which is great. Uh, something that we really wanted was to be able to walk down the sides of the bed very freely and easily. Once again, these will be going <laughs> for that purpose. These will be going um, and so will the pleats as well. Lots of ventilation in here, which is excellent as well. Something that you need on a van of this size. The windows do wiggle to open up. Yeah, the lights don't really do anything unless it's really dark. But we have these that open it and close and they go out really far. And then up here we have little bed lights, which I'm also very excited to have, which would work, but we only have the battery going right now. We don't have the battery switch on. Uh, and then the window is here as well. And that's a really big window that opens up to go outside. Tons of storage, so much storage. Something that we really wanted was lots of storage, lots of bright colors, not this like weird maroony color. The people that sold the van to us gave us a whole bunch of cute things like sheets and towels and whatever, which is really nice of them. Uh, in the cupboards, we will be making shelves to go in there because they are just hanging shelves. It's just a hanging space, so yeah. You don't really hang very much when you're living in a caravan. Maybe you're like a suit or a dress or something that's really nice. But that's about it. And then in the corner here, which will also be utilized for something else, um, we have a cupboard down there that opens up two way. Um, and it's got the buttons. Now I've had the leaders, I've had the big buttons, I've had just normal handles in caravans, and buttons are the way to go. Definitely the way to go, excuse me. Uh, so we're winning storage here as well in the corner which would be great and of course as with any caravan if you ever go into a caravan and they don't have this don't bother buying the van okay because otherwise there's all this wasted space underneath of the van if you don't have this Woo! so we have a super cool retro annex <laughs> to go around the walls and the side of the awnings super retro super cool we're going to be the best young people on the road we've already started putting some things in there uh so chairs sleeping bags extra food for the apocalypse i'm kidding Just food and <laughs> sleeping bags and we are um sort of putting all of our clothes into a vacuum bag so that you can store more but we are told that as time goes on, as months go by, we will figure out what we need and what we won't need with clothes. So you start off with needing like a whole bunch of stuff and then as time goes on, it changes. And it's really good that other vans I've had, you haven't, it just stays like that. That's like unheard of. Other vans I've had, it's been really hard for me to pick it up and put it down or on my mother, so it's actually really nice. We have stereo built inside, and we also have a roof, air conditioner, and heater. Yes, I was so excited when I'd had one of these. It just ticks so many boxes, can I just say? God was like, give you four weeks notice to leave your house um, in Adelaide suburbia, and I'll give you the right van, and the next day this van popped up. It really is so perfect in so many ways and it has so much more than what we even wanted so much more storage the coloring is so bright for a van of this era and it's got the two batteries down here as well i better mention that for all the geekies i'm not gonna pull it up oh yes you can open this brett's opening it's okay uh, uh. <laughs> the batteries are in there 
along with some spares. Along with spare batteries and light globes and stuff. One of these handy little inverters here. Yes, there we go. Plug it in the cigarette lighter and you've got a normal power point. I'm geeking out there. <laughs> What's this for 10 volt? Um, and I suppose I'll go through some of the storage options. So what's really cool with these drawers, because this caravan has suspension that Brad will talk about more. It's really good that these drawers don't have those silly little hinges, okay? The silly little hinges that break while you're driving, the drawer wobbles so much that it then falls out. It can't. It's great. In this other van that we had, there's always this one drawer that was underneath the seat that every single time my family and I would go away, it would always fall out. So it's great to have drawers that don't fall out. <laughs> Something you should really look for. So we've been in all of these compartments. We have got ourselves, this one's already got it built in, but uh, we'll have some like plastic bits to go in there, separators to go into these drawers and little boxes so we'll be keeping food in here um, and then sort of all the bedroom stuff will be bedroom stuff there and I suppose in the back of the car I'll be keeping the really important things like all of my craft items because I do like to make cards and gifts see very important catch your sarcasm there uh, also excess like cans of food um, and we'll also be keeping another freezer in there as well to store food that can be run off of our solar panel if need be if we go out bush for too long finally fridge the fridge is a bit smaller than expected but it's just because we're used to having a ginormous fridge uh, so this fridge is perfect size in all the different vans that I've had um, small fridges can be good so looking forward to that with the drawers and of course a little freezer in here. I think it's been on because it's quite cool in here. Get it? Cool because it's a fridge. Ha. <sighs> no one's laughing. And a grill. So we'll be putting storage there. Uh, more storage there. More storage in there. So we'll do another video when it's all packed up and ready to go. Uh, really looking forward to now putting everything into the van and making the modifications inside of the van that needs to be done to make it feel a little bit more like our home. Watch your next video. We'll see you soon.